پدیده غیر قابل تصور در دنیای امروز از این فرصت استثنایی استفاده کنید تا مبالغ زیادی را به جای پرداخت هزینه برق ساختمانتان پسنداز کنید سولار وان تکنولوژی برای هر گونه اطلاعات بیشتر با ما تماس بگیرید تلفن 800 451 6370 www.solarvantech.com Uh, greetings from Los Angeles, California. I'm Dr. Alex Parsinia, president of Solar One Technology. Uh, I will be uh, delivering this particular uh, uh, program in English for our English-speaking uh, audience, as well as, of course, for uh, for our some of our uh, promotional that we're going to be doing later on. Uh, let me briefly tell you something about Solar One Technology. Uh, Solar One Co Technology is a company located in Los Angeles, California. We, we are specialized in marketing, sale, uh, design, financing, and installation of solar system for both residential as well as commercial uh, businesses. Now, before going about the, these different aspects of solar, let's talk about solar technology. Now, solar to technology is not really uh, very uh, new. The technology is old. But what has happened is that in the last five years and so, the technology has gone through some really significant uh, innovation and creativity where now solar technology is available for both residential as well as businesses at a very competitive rate. So there are really two dimensions to this uh, technology or to this solar, solar business. One is economic and the other one of course uh, is environment. So our logo and our, our slogan is basically we want to deliver a product as well as a service that would save you money. So it's very critical that, that you're going to be saving money so that it would be economical because we all pay for electricity. There is no question about it. In other words, we cannot operate without electricity at home, at business, uh, anywhere. You know, we need electrical power. So what essentially solar technology and business would deliver to you, it would deliver uh, the electrical uh, uh, capacity that you need, the electrical system that you need at a very competitive rate. So in other words, your, your home as well as your business, right now you're only, uh, uh, you're using electricity. You're a consumer of electricity, both at home as well as a business. When we install solar panels as well as solar system on your roof or on the ground, then in effect you become not just a consumer of electricity, but also you become a producer of electricity. Because essentially the solar system that we install, it generates electricity for your usage. Now. There are, now the other, let me uh, finish the other segment of the, or the other aspect of solar technology is of course the environment. As we say, save money, because if we cannot save you money, you know, we cannot actually uh, recommend a solar system unless it's economically feasible for you. The other aspect of it that I'm sure a lot of you and a lot of other people are, as well as myself, are very interested is to save the environment. Because as you're aware, uh, um, pollution uh, is, is very significant. You know, global warming is very real. All this, almost 90% of the scientists have already agreed that at the rate 
that we're going in terms of creating pollution and in creating all the environmental waste that we, we as, as human beings we're creating we're in really in the process of destroying our world and we only have one world and as somehow we can create another technology so we can go to another planet we only have one planet so the my message is really is is twofold that solar technology and i fully believe in it if i really didn't believe in it I wouldn't be sitting here and I wouldn't be discussing the marketing of, of solar. But basically, uh, solar technology, it saves you money as well as it saves the environment. Uh, if you would please, there is one video that we have that basically talks about the whole solar technology and, and how it saves uh, money as well as ec the economic side of it as well as uh, the technology side of it, as well as the environmental impact of it. Uh, if you have it uh, in the control room, please. Um, this is one of the cleanest energies that we have available to us today. The base reason for going with solar, it was financial for us because we we're actually going to end up making money on the system. We can feed that energy back into the grid and get paid for it. It's a one investment with a return of seven years or less and then it's all gravy. It's all cash in the pocket. What's happening is that the energy utility rates continue to rise. Avoiding that energy inflation is a huge payback, meaning they reduce their power bill to a point where their solar system is actually offsetting 50% of their power. We're locking in and fixing the price of our utility payment, and as a result, we've locked in our energy costs for at least 25 years. My hope is not only that we'll have a lot of people with solar panels on their roofs, but in another five years, we'll have a lot of people driving electric cars. Gas might hit five, ten dollars a gallon. We wouldn't even care. The whole idea here, the whole theme, is to wean ourselves off fossil fuels. It also has great earth benefits because it reduces your carbon footprint and contribute toward the solution uh, for global warming. As a mother, I think it's really important that we are not contributing to carbon in the air, that we have clean air to breathe. It's about when I turn on my lights that I'm not burning a lump of coal somewhere. For every million dollars in renewable energy spent, it creates 16 and a half jobs, whereas if you spend a million dollars on a fossil fuel energy source, it only creates five. This should be fun. I mean, why shouldn't we have fun making the world a better place? I've had strangers pull into the driveway and say, tell me about your system. So this is a representation of all the 32 panels on my roof. You find out what the system actually produced in a year. You go to Germany, Japan, Singapore, solar farms everywhere. Solar is not the alternative energy. Coal is the alternative energy. Solar is the original energy. Hopefully someday I'll have grandchildren and I'd rather leave the world a little cleaner than what it was left for me. Uh, I was struck by the phrase that, that gen one of the gentlemen used. What he indicated, because we're thinking right now, is that solar is the alternative energy. Whereas we're, you know, coal has been the primary source of energy for our electricity. And what, what he indicated is that solar will become the original energy and the coal will become the, the alternative energy. In other words, this is really the prediction in terms of the future. And I'm not talking about 20 years from now, I'm talking about three, four years from now, with, the, with all the indication are pointing to the fact that right now about 7% of homes and businesses have solar uh, installation. And the prediction is that this figure is gonna go to 75% within three, four years from now. So it is, it, solar is really becoming the original source of energy. And, and it, of course it makes sense. It's, uh, it's economical, it's creating a lot of jobs, so it's really helping our economy, it's help, helping our environment, so it has really a lot of benefits. And, and additionally, it really would bring electricity to a lot of places 
where they, they don't have electricity. In other words, if you're in, in, in a very remote area where you don't have access to the power system, by going solar, because as long as the sun comes out in the morning, we will have solar energy. So there's, there's no question of whether, you know, how long it would last. It's the ultimate source of energy. Now, how does solar work? And so let me, I want to basically go over that aspect of it. And, and if you would, if you would put uh, uh, picture number, uh, number 21, uh, because basically it shows you how does a solar system work and what are some of the components of it. Uh, essentially what we do with this, with this solar system and solar technology, we capitalize on the, basically this really shows you how it works. We capitalize on the energy of the sun. So the sun is really the ultimate source of all energy. And actually Einstein, when he created or when he innovated uh, his f famous f f formula, E is equal to MC squared, he was talking about the relationship between energy and mass, and as well as, of course, the, the speed of light, which really we're talking about uh, the ultimate source, which is the sun. So the way it works is that we install solar panels on your roof or on the ground or in, on, on the hill or whatever. Most of the solar systems are installed on the roof because it gives you the maximum exposure to the sun. Now, the, the sun rays, when it hits the solar panels, it creates DC power. But of course, DC power is what is used in battery system. What you have in your car is a DC power, it's not AC power. Now, what, what do we do then? Then we bring the DC power and it goes through an inverter. The inverter is that uh, white gadget that you see on the right hand side that normally it's either, it either goes in your garage or it goes on the side of your house. And the inverter converts the DC power to the AC power. AC power is what we use at home, at business, and everywhere. And of course, it has different volts. It could, it could be three-way, it could be two-way, it could be 110, 100, 220 different voltage amps and so forth. But it is, they're all AC powers. Now, once we generate the AC powers through the solar system, then it's really connected to your, to your uh, meter, to your electrical meter. Whatever you use uh, inside your house or your business, it's directly coming from the solar system. Now, if your demand is higher than your than, than your generation of power, then you're still connected to the grid. So as a result, you basically use uh, the, the overage from the grid. However, if your production of electricity is more than your consumption, then basically it goes back to the grid. So in effect, there is a debit and credit system between you your, your house or your business and the utility company, which what we normally we call it grid, that essentially uh, when you use more, you take it from the grid and when you, uh, when you produce more, it's sort of like a savings account that you withdraw from it. It really w works like, just like that. And we have a meter next to the inverter that basically ca uh, calculates that, basically it uh, it calculates the debit and credit system. Also, next to it, we have a monitoring system where you can monitor your production as well as usage. And, 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 and particularly, like if there, uh, there are any problems, of course, we monitor uh, your, social, your solar system from our, from our office as well. But you can also monitor it because we'll give you a a computer that you that goes with the system, as well as we have an app that uh, that you can download on your smartphone, and through that app you can monitor it. In other words, even when you're traveling, you can 
you can see uh, what are the usage and how it is used. Okay, uh, now what are the different types of solar system and, and what are some of the usage in terms of the marketplace? Essentially, we have two different types of solar system. One is that we connect to the grid, as I was indicating. There's another type where actually, particularly for, for businesses or homes where they don't have access to electricity, where it really works on a battery system. So in effect, when you have the sun, you, you use whatever electricity that you need, and the excess capacity is stored in a battery. At night or when there are no, no sun, basically then you use your battery system as a, as a generation, as a, as a system for generating electricity, and you use that. So there are basically those two types of technology. Uh, now, in terms of sale and marketing side of the solar system, then we really have residential as well as commercial side of business. Residential are essentially the homes, you know, uh, that, that you have, and uh, in effect, we're in Southern California, and it's become very popular. You go in some neighborhood, uh, you see solar system all over the place. It's still really, the, pen the penetration is low. We're way behind uh, countries like Germany, Japan, and uh, Scandinavian countries in terms of use of solar. They're way ahead of us. Uh, because the essentially the cost of electricity has been much higher there. But it's becoming very popular. Let me show you a, a, a typical example of a residential uh, solar system. If you would please, number 20 shows uh, a typical residential solar where the solar is installed on the roof of the house, as you see this. It, it's really th those solar panels are relatively light. They're not that heavy. Uh, and this is really the new technology in solar system. Before they were bulkier, uh, they were heavier, and they didn't look that good. I mean, it looks good. It, it does, I mean, some people would say, well, if I put solar system on my house, it's not going to look good. It actually looks pretty good. And... Uh, uh, and it depends, you know, we can put it on your garage, we can put it on your patio, we, it, it depends. What, what, what is important is that we, we, we cannot have a lot of shades. So if you have a lot of trees around your house, we want to put it someplace where you're not going to get um, a, a lot of shades. Uh, and as I indicated, uh, these are very efficient. Uh, what we also install in addition to the solar systems is the, their optimizers where in effect it enhances the efficiency of this system by over 25 percent. Uh, now let me sh also show you an example of a commercial project. Uh, let's see. Uh, let me give a number. Uh, the, like 33A or 34A, that shows you some examples of uh, uh, some, some of the commercial projects. Now, w commercial businesses and, and, and use of so solar is rather, it's, it's, it's not really that old. Uh, this is actually a good example. This is for those of you to go to Vegas a lot. Uh, this is... Um, what hotel is it? This is Mandalay Bay. Uh, Mandalay Bay is had gone all solar, as you can see. Those solar panels are, are on the top of the casino, where you go and do some gambling on top of it. It's all si solar system. And there's another interesting thing about uh, Vegas. Vegas has uh, the city council uh, made a unanimous uh, uh, decision that, that the whole city had, has to go solar, which means that for all new construction, they have to include solar in it. Uh, so this is this one is an example of a factory. As you see, uh, we're actually right now making a proposal to one factory uh, in Los Angeles. Uh, their electrical usage is about 40,000 a month. 
through solar we're going to be able to save them close to thirty thousand dollars a month in other words we reduce their electrical usage from 40 to 30. now the reason we cannot reduce it all the way to zero or or, le or less than that is is because of the square footage requirement that we need in other words if we don't have enough square i mean these solar panels they take some space and if we don't have enough square footage then uh, we need to, of course, uh, we use what we we use uh, we use what we call carports. I don't know if uh, there is one picture that shows, and I think it says carports on it. What it is that have you, have you seen? You see them in, in schools, and you see them in uh, um, a lot of actually what you see. Vons has gone. Vons grocery store is going uh, solar. To just give you some examples. Of businesses, uh, Kaiser Permanente. Uh, okay, this is this is an example. Actually, there is there is one high school close to where we, where I am. It's called Taft High School. And if you go look at outside in the parking lot of Taft, you see solar panels that have been installed on 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 carports where there are parking lots. Uh, some of the businesses that you recognize that are going solar is bonds grocery stores uh kaiser permanente um targets all target stores are going solar so it's it's as i said it's not a fad you know the, in business we call is this a trend or is it a fad because there are some businesses they come in and I, you know it becomes very popular and after a while you know you you don't hear about them and it goes away Solar as a business is not a fad. It is really a trend. It's a way of the future because it fits to uh, overall economic trends that we have. I mean, in other words, when we're talking about the electrical car, uh, uh, Tesla is a good example, which actually was uh, uh, founded by, um, uh, by Musk, Mr. Musk, that, that actually who founded Solar City, which is the largest solar company. So after he founded Solar City, he actually founded uh, Tesla, which is the electrical car. And what he's doing right now, I mean, the, 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 the issue with solar, with, uh, with electrical car is, um, is electrical gas station, essentially. And, and that's what we're gonna see. And I think that we, I have one picture that shows the electrical car as well as electrical gas station, if you can see that. So that, that is really the trend. The trend is that to get away from uh, use of fossil fuel, to get away from using coal, and go to, uh, re, uh, to re, this is basically, a, look at this picture. This is really an interesting. This is a picture of electrical, uh, it's a gas station, but it's electrical gas station. So how does it generate? Because with electrical cars, what you need to do? I mean, you, you need gas stations to go to and then charge your cars. So these are, right now they're building them from Los Angeles to San Francisco, and you can see them. I mean, you can go on the internet, it gives you the locations. And you, you basically pull in and you charge it, right? And just like you're going to the gas station, except you're going to electrical gas station you charge your uh your car and then you move on now think about it you know in terms of this another this is an, an you know this is essentially how you charge your car right and having and of course it's a lot cheaper i mean think about it save money save the environment that is the logo that's the purpose of of, of going to uh, going solar so what i'm the the point i'm making it this is not a trend i mean we all need to seriously consider going solar now what i like to do is to basically go over in terms of uh i talked about how solar works in terms of let's let's focus on the residential side of it and then i'll if i have time i'll go over to the commercial side of it what, what how do, how does it work how does how do we implement this. In other words, what is the process? 
Okay, the process is that if you're interested to, to install a solar system in your house, call us. Send us an email, go to our website, uh, let us know that I'm interested. Okay, one of our sales associate will call you. We install in most of the states, particularly in the western states, as well as eastern states. So location is not that, that critical. One of our sales associates will call you. What we need from you is initially the document that's the most important document is your electrical bill. Okay, because that would tell you that would tell us how much electricity you use. Now, based on your look, looking at your electrical bill, then we make a proposal to you which basically determines the size of the, of the system. So, assuming that you're, you're using a typical house somewhere between $150 to $250 a month in electricity. The smaller house, probably 100 to $150 per square foot. So depending on your usage, and depending on, of course, which electrical company you use, because they have different rates. Like in Southern California, we have two major electrical company, which are Edison and Department of Water and Power. Now, in some cities, they actually have their own electrical uh, office. So like, you know, city of Glendale, you got to deal with city of Glendale. City of Anaheim, it's the electric, Anaheim Power Company. Glendale is Glendale Power Company. So some of the cities, they actually, they're in the business of selling you electricity. And they normally, they tend to be higher, by the way. They're not lower. Uh, so we need to look at your usage we need to look at how much you're paying per kilowatt hour, okay? And, and normally, like with Department of Water and Power, it's on a tiered basis. What does it mean? I mean, this is one of the few industries is as you use more electricity, your rate goes up because they penalize you. Like normally, if your electrical bill is low, your kilowatt hour is lower. But as you use more, you go to tier number two or tier number three. So typically, if you're paying like 12 cents per kilowatt hour, 14 cents per kilowatt hour, if you use a lot, you could go to 15 cents, 16 cents, 17 cents per kilowatt hour. So this actually, solar works really, I mean, really economical when your electrical bill is higher, okay? But generally speaking, we we don't recommend solar system if your electrical bill is less than one hundred dollars a month because it's not going to save you a lot uh, because you got you still need to pay for the system so I would we always recommend solar system for homes and businesses of course businesses is a different game I mean their electrical bill could be forty fifty thousand dollars a month so once we analyze your bill where we are in our office we have a specialized google map it's a general google map but of course it has more features in other words by looking we don't need to come to your house right away by going to we, we can actually see your house from our office we can even measure your square footage we can see if there are trees around your house we can see if there are any obstacles so we get that all that information and then we basically draft a proposal, no obligation, okay? No obligation, and we, we present a proposal to you. Uh, also within the proposal, in other words, if suppose if you're using uh,